Good morning. <clears throat> That's weird. <clears throat> Good morning. Today is December 7th. It is Alice's birthday. Little Joey is two years old. So don't forget to call her. Um, and we're going to start with a daily reflection on the Old Testament. But there is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets. Daniel 2, 28. King Nebuchadnezzar uh, was troubled because of a vivid dream that left him, him unable to sleep. No one could interpret the dream but Daniel, a humble man with a spiritual gift. If it is the Lord's will and if the seeker is righteous in his desires, the Lord will send light and knowledge. Sister Mary Ellen Smoot then general president of the Relief Society, observed, God can and does reveal secrets unto the faithful. How precious an opportunity it is. How wonderful that it actually happens. I testify that our prayers often in humility and secrecy are heard and answered. It is a miraculous thing, but it is real. And that's from 2000. Um, indeed, the power of prayer is awesome and authentic. Okay, so today is Zechariah 3 and 7. So in 3, uh, whew, Zechariah speaks about the Messiah. The branch will come. At the second coming, iniquity will be removed in one day. Um... I'm trying to think. Nothing stood out to me here. Um, okay, so what happened in this chapter was Zechariah saw Joshua in a vision um, standing before Satan, and Satan was trying to resist him or hold him back or something of that nature. And then the angel of the Lord was talking to Zechariah or Joshua and Joshua was wearing dirty clothes and um, Zechariah told him to put a, a meter on his head and then to change his clothes and and that's kind of what happens in that chapter and I'm quite confused by it uh, I don't know what it has to do with anything but I, I don't know so that's what happens in three so let's move on to seven because I don't know anything about three. It was just, but anyways, in seven, the Lord reproves hypocrisy and fast. He calls upon the people to show mercy and compassion and to live godly lives. So, uh, these two people are sent to the house of the Lord to pray and to speak unto the priests. And when they go to the priest, they say, uh, so am I supposed to fast uh, and weep in the fifth month, separating myself as I have done these so many years? And then the word of the Lord comes to Zechariah and he says, now I know that Israel has been fasting in the fifth and seven, right? It's the fifth and seventh, yep, fifth and seventh month, even though 70 years, did ye at all fast unto me, even to me? So he's saying, yeah, you've been fasting, but has it just been a law that you've been keeping? Or have you actually been fasting unto me? Have you been focused on me? Have you been praying to me? And then he says, when ye did eat, or when ye did drink, did not ye eat for yourselves and drink for yourselves? Um, so he's he's talking about hypocrisy and fasting. It's like, do you do it with the right spirit? Do you do it with the right attitude? Um, so on and so forth. Um, and then he just talks about being charitable to the poor, um, and not turning away your shoulder and shutting your ears from them. Uh, let's see. Whew. We've got one thing here for chapter three. Uh, the same name translated here as Joshua has been translated as Jeshua 
and other references. Elias Rasmussen has communicated, has commented on the significance of this name. You may see in this version of Joshua, the high priest of the time, called Jesh, Jeshua with an E instead of an O, in Ezra and Nehemiah. A prophecy of the cleansing or restoration of the priesthood and of the coming of the Messiah. Also of the purification of Israel in, prepare, in preparation for the millennium, which seems to be hinted in verse 10. The name Jesus in English spelling of the Latin form of the Greek form of the Hebrew name Jeshua or yes, Yeshua, which means salvation. Okay. So Joshua is not Joshua. He is Jesus. That would have been interesting, uh, but also still confusing about the dirty clothes and, and all that. Okay. And then there's nothing for seven. It skips right over to six. But anyway. Uh. <sighs> That's all I got, really. I mean. But. Uh. I'll leave you with a prayer from a diary of prayer. We've got two today. One is anonymous and one is from Lancelot Andrews. Thou knowest, Lord, the secret of our hearts. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayers, but spare us, Lord, most holy. O God, most mighty, O holy and merciful Savior, Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal, suffer us not at our last hour for any pains of death to fall from thee. A Christian clothes without sin, without shame, and should it please thee without pain, and a good answer at the dreadful and fearful judgment seat of Jesus Christ our Lord, Lord, vouchsafe, O Lord. I don't know. Anyways, oh, I forgot. Anyways, that's a... Uh, that's all we've got for today. That was... Okay, that was Zechariah 3 and 7, and we do 8 and 9 tomorrow. We'll see you then. Have a great day. Happy birthday, Joey. Love you. Bye.